Now, there were some disrespectful moments, so I wanted to ask you what was going on through your head and how did you maintain your composure? Well, I looked at it like, um, you know, we ain't sixth graders. You know, like we ain't, we're not kids, like you can't antagonize me with something that, um, that we both understand, you know, cause, cause I'm not in the same mental space as I was 20 years ago. And I, nor can I let you take me there. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I, I, that would have been the biggest upset in, 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 in my life because I have self-control and I'm very self-aware. And it's just like, hold up, man. Like if that was the case, we might well not even came here. You know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I didn't feel no way about it because I've already heard the songs. I, I I know I already know what the situation people may think of the situation and you know that as well. So you, you can't antagonize me with that, you know, live and think that you're gonna get a response because I'm not that same person I was twenty years ago when that's how things got out of spiraled out of control anyway. Right. It's like I've practiced I, I I've done a and anybody know anything about me, like Charlemagne, you know. Like I've took the last 10 years to better myself because mm -hmm. of a lot of things that happened in my life. Mm -hmm. And I just promised myself I would never put myself in those positions again, because when you react and somebody gets you off your square and, and, and you acting out of anger or, or um, you acting out of anxiety, it's normally not the right decision. And I like I, 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 I'm from the gutter. Like, listen, tell you something that I'm from the gutter. I've been and there. Man, I, every day I've fought. You know, I, I've I've worked, I've grinded, I, I've did everything, of, yeah, to put, get my people and myself, you know, out of that. And I can't let my anger take me back there. So for me, it was more so like it was a moment of truth for me. It, it, got, like, it got a little sticky. I ain't go front. It got a little you can sticky. Really it, was, it was a lot. Go of in and be who you are. You gotta be somebody you never, you know, became, and just be like, yo, man. At this point, I like. You know, we we I can't even do that with you. So I'm 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 gonna be I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the the uh, uh, mature person in this situation. Say, dog, like I'm not gonna go back and forth with you on, on, in front of the world about something that we could have talked about in our personal space and worked out. So it was a hard decision. Like I came front. Like I, I it, it was like one of those things. Like damn, man. Like and I don't do disrespect easy, but it's just like for 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 them kids that I'm seeing dying and for these mamas and. You know, for 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 this shit to be happening, and you know, and and and, and you watching, it's like they don't even care. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like I got at least care, and that that was my position. Like I care about them more than I care about how people gonna look at me. So right. that's the decision I had to make. I had to take the disrespect to be like, yo, man, listen, and, and, and just draw the line there.